I'm attempting to eat only family-sized fast food meals for one day. Rule number one, I must consume a family meal meant for at least four plus people for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Rule number two, I'm letting this wheel choose each restaurant I go to during the day. This can either go great or go absolutely terrible. Rule number three, if any of the employees say the words anything else or try to upsell me within four seconds of ordering each meal, then I'll have to order the unhealthiest option on the menu to go with each family meal. All right, everybody, it's time to spin the wheel and see where I'm going for the first fast food destination. And for some reason, I wrote KFC twice. The first stop was KFC. KFC it is. The 16 piece meal from KFC is one of the biggest family meals in fast food. It comes with 16 pieces of chicken, four large sides, and eight biscuits. And according to Google, it's meant for eight people. All right, everybody, so here's the drill. The four seconds begins right after I order the family meal. Hi there, can I get your 16 piece meal please? And then for my sides, mac and cheese, uh, mashed potatoes, coleslaw, and then the corn. Alright, anything else for you? So far, this wasn't going very well. Um, can I get, uh, one second, I'm sorry. According to Google, the unhealthiest item you can order at KFC is their chicken pot pie. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of your pot pies please. So far, we're not starting off on a very promising note. Knowing that I was about to ingest thousands of calories worth of greasy fast food, I was already pretty worried. Pray for my bowels. So the time is currently just after 12.30. Obviously I'm having a bit of a late breakfast. So the countdown is going to be 11 hours and 25 minutes. Countdown is officially underway. Without further ado, Electric Empire, let's make some bad decisions. Three, two, and one. I'm glad I started with the mac and cheese because the first bite was fire. I made quick work of it before moving on to the next item. All right, first item is down. Coleslaw. Gotta get some veggies in. To get through this massive meal, my strategy was to go after the sides first and save the chicken for last. Coleslaw is down. So far, it's going amazing. As soon as I got into the corn, I regretted ordering it, mainly because it was gonna take up a lot of stomach space. But of course, I took it down anyways. Corn is down. Woo! I'm gonna go ahead and save the last side for a little bit later because I need to get to my chicken now. This chicken bucket is huge. This is like a really big bucket of chicken. I gotta know down below in the comments, are you team original or are you team extra crispy? Comment down below. Even though I've done a bunch of KFC challenges, I've never tried to take down a 16 piece bucket. Yet here I was trying to eat it for breakfast. This day was about to get crazy. Finally made it to the Diet Pepsi, thank goodness. <sighs> Feels so healthy. KFC's chicken is always good, but I needed to jazz it up just a bit. I had to do it everybody. It's time for some wow sauce action up in here. Wow sauce is making its return. Oh. Wow sauce and fried chicken is always a winning combo. Dummy, oh, dummy. A lot of people like thighs, some people like wings, but I'm a breast guy. Unfortunately, the breasts tend to be a bit dry, so I decided to use some wow sauce to help out with the dryness. After the breasts were down, it was time to move on to the more juicier pieces. I just gotta say right now, I have no idea what I've just gotten myself into. As I got into the last few pieces of chicken, I really started to feel all the protein, fat, and sodium I had just consumed. Given the fact that I hadn't even finished meal one yet, I was starting to get a bit worried. Bucket of chicken is down. It was a lot denser than I thought it would be. I don't even know how I'm supposed to eat this. There we go. Earlier, I wasn't too happy about ordering the pot pie, but after the first bite, mm. I changed my mind. This pot pie reawakened every single one of my taste buds. Pot pie's down. Whew. And now we gotta get to these very dense looking biscuits. Actually, is what I call thinking outside the box and inside the biscuit. To get these biscuits down, my strategy was simple. Use them as edible spoons for my mashed potatoes. Oh, man. My strategy worked for a few minutes, but then flavor fatigue hit. So I decided to decorate the biscuits with some Manuka honey, and that first bite of sweetness was everything I needed. Woo! It may have been because I had just bombarded my stomach with 16 pieces of fried chicken, but this combo was extra tasty. Honey and biscuits are just the best combo.
Wow, that was a lot more filling than I thought it would be. Looks like it's just after one o'clock right now, which means we have about 10 hours and 53 minutes left. Now it's time to let the wheel decide where I'm gonna go for the next restaurant. The second fast food stop was Panda Express. Panda Express's family meal is another heavy hitter. It comes with two large sides and three large entrees. And if you're wondering how many people it feeds, according to Google, it's between six and eight. This was gonna be rough. Definitely pray for my pals now. I wanted to order one of your family meals, please. I'm gonna do one order of chow mein, and one order of fried rice, please. One order of orange chicken, please. Mushroom chicken, please. And let's go ahead and do the Beijing beef. I lucked out not having to order an additional item, but with the amount of sodium and protein in this meal, I knew this was gonna be tough. So it looks like it's just after 4 p.m. So since I have just under eight hours left until midnight, I'm gonna do my best to get this meal down because I have no idea what's waiting for me for meal number three. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, that is a lot of chicken. As I set up the meal, I realized my vegetable intake was lacking for the day. So I decided to start with my mushroom chicken. All right, so I'm starting with the mushroom chicken. Getting some much needed vegetables in. Three, two, one. Not bad. As I got into the first order of chicken, I realized that the lack of sweetness was gonna be a serious problem. Mushroom chicken is down. Whew. So I decided to utilize my fortune cookies. Discover the strength within yourself. I'd much rather discover more calories within myself. Next, it was time to move on to the chow mein. I'm not a huge fan of chow mein, but when it comes down to carb sources that fill me up the least, chow mein is high up on the list. Lead with your heart. I'd much rather lead with my stomach. Next, I decided to go after the very saucy Beijing beef. How could I forget the bell pepper at the bottom? We don't want to miss out on our vegetables. The first few bites were actually pretty tasty, but then the spice hit me. Oh, it's actually kind of spicy. Thankfully, I can cool it down with some deliciousness. AKA wild sauce. Technically, it wouldn't be fire, but you know what I mean. Using some wow sauce, I was able to get the Beijing beef down before moving on to the next item. Ooh. Hold on tightly to your dreams. I'm gonna have to hold on tightly to my sanity after this day is over. Ooh. When it comes down to carb sources that fill me up the most, fried rice is very high up on the list. After a few more spoonfuls of rice, everything started to catch up with me. Oh, man, that chicken from earlier just hit me. Oh. At this point, I realized getting through the rest of this day was going to be a battle. Fried rice is down. You can count on close friends to give you sage advice. I can't think of anything clever to say to that, but yeah. Now, yeah, everybody, I saved my favorite Panda Express item for last. The orange chicken. Saving the orange chicken for last was also another part of my strategy because the combination of sweet and savory helped me out big time with flavor fatigue. Oh, goodness gracious, man. I spent the next few minutes getting through the rest of the orange chicken with some very much needed help from my wow sauce. And a few seconds later, meal number two was complete. Excuse me. The next family meal I had to order was from Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut's family meal is the Big Dinner Box. The Big Dinner Box comes with two medium one-topping pizzas, five breadsticks, and the choice of pasta or wings. And according to Google, it feeds four people. 